Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be attempting this official Sims team challenge, which is one in which you have to build around this kind of rectangular pond and that hill with llama. So you have to be able to not disturb the llama or affect this water feature in any way. And you can download this lot and try it for yourself, I will have that linked down. But for my <laughs> entry I decided to use this 20 by 30 lot here in Hanford on Bagley because that's the size that this lot is originally, but I guess you could do any size since that wasn't really part of the rules. And I really wanted to try and make a house that's shaped like a llama and while I was working on it I decided to make it into a cottage because of this roof texture. I thought that it looked sort of like wool or whatever texture llamas have, so I experimented a lot with these roof pieces. I I am curving them outwards and inwards so that you can have a more realistic llama shape and I thought that it was a lot of fun. I added that awning with the hay so that it looks like a tail and then I added a little window beneath that and I am also using a lot of these little details so that I can give it a bit more shape. So for example these stairs are meant to act as the hooves and it was just a lot of fun to use these. I also at one point I remembered that we had these kind of llama gargoyles and I had them underneath the llama's head and you will see that later. But it was just so much fun using all of these items from Cottage Living to make this oversized llama because I also added an actual llama stable so I had been meaning to to make a llama themed build for a while. I wanted to use a lot of those llama items that we have in the game and my idea originally was for it to be some sort of llama cult <laughs> in a way because of that tapestry that we got from high school years which looks kind of magical and I thought that maybe it was someone who was just obsessed with llamas to that point but when I was building this as a cottage I thought that maybe it's just a family that has at least one adult farmer and they have this llama and they have a child, so the child really loves this llama, they are obsessed with the llama and they want all of their stuff to be llama themed, even down to the shape of the house. And I thought that was just a very silly but very fun storyline, so the room that has the most llama things here is that child's bedroom, which I think it has 17 llama things. I I counted them and I was very surprised when I saw that that was the amount of llamas that I was using. But here in these tiny leg areas I am using this tall wool height so that I would be able to fit this shape in just four floors, which is what what the limit is for houses in The Sims. And I decided to make two of them into spaces for ladders so that you can cross this pond in that way. It's not really necessary, you can just go around it very easily, but I decided to have ladders in two of them and to add gardening stuff to one of them and some like hay storage to the other one. So I am using a bunch of stuff from Cottage Living. The hay bales are actually, or hay bales, are actually just um, chairs, I think, from Cottage Living and I am adding this area in which there's a ton of storage of gardening related stuff. I am using some stuff from Divock as well, so I am going to be grabbing some fertilizers and the seeds from Cottage Living that make oversized crops and I just... Uh, I had a lot of fun with that. I did spend a lot of time in Divock, so so here you can see that I am grabbing those fertilizers as well as these... Um, I think it's the thing that seems used to get rid of weeds. And then I am just raising this up into the counter so that I would be able to fit that machine in a more comfortable way. And then I am just going to be picking up a bucket and those fertilizers and other stuff. And I am just arranging them in this, um, I don't even know what you would call it, gardening table. But I also grabbed one of these, one of these sorts of decorations from Eco Lifestyle because it had some pots and other gardening supplies which I thought was cool because I don't have the um, 
I forget what it's called, but the greenhouse greenhouse haven kit. So I thought that it would make sense for there to be a bit more storage for gardening and stuff. And there's actually another shell from um, Eco Lifestyle with more of that kind of thing. Um, but I forgot about it. But I did make sure that I would have this gardening section in this corner. And I also wanted to add a wishing well as well as... I forget if this is called a pea bush or a woohoo bush. I am grabbing the one from... Werewolf, so I don't remember what that one is called specifically, but that's the function that it serves. And uh, mainly, I just added that and the and the wishing well because that's those are kind of chaotic gameplay elements, and I thought that making a house shaped into a llama was pretty chaotic in itself. But inside of this house, we are sectioning off those ladders so that we wouldn't have that awful outdoor lighting here in the whole living space, and that ends up really taking a lot of space in the bedrooms because they are in the neck and the head of the llama. But here in this living area, I thought that this space is really decent in size. I end up having this kitchen that is pretty large, I would say. And I really loved what I did with these counters because I felt that it made this space have a lot more personality because of all the clutter that I was adding. And I moved this around a few times and for a moment it looks a bit strange, but it ends up being quite a large kitchen and they end up having two bar stools. So that's a very nice thing for a kitchen to have. And since I had scooted some of these counters over, I was able to use a few corner um, counters, which I think are very cute because they are smaller and they might have a bit more detail than the other normal counters. And I really like using these, this area above these counters as some more shelf space and I thought that it was fun to add a lot of this clutter from mostly from cottage living and I also added a plant on top of the taller cabinet here in this corner and it just made me so happy and I really want to make more kitchens that have that kind of shape in this corner because I think that it makes kitchens a bit more varied because sometimes in the sims you might feel that you are making the same kitchen over and over especially if you don't have as many counters or if you tend to use the same counters. But I really liked how this worked out and I also decided to use the the fridge as some more for some more shelving space and I just really loved having a lot of this clutter and you might have noticed that I have added my first llama into space. Not the big plush one because that doesn't stay in there but I am adding this kind of ceramic llama from Nifty Knitting to this dining table and I tried using the fluffy chairs from high school years because I thought that it looked a bit more like an animal, but it just didn't fit the vibe that I was going for because I really wanted to make this a very traditional space, but still pretty quirky. So I am using this tile that is really traditional, for example. Um, and this wallpaper is also very traditional as well. And it's just, I don't think that I have ever used this wallpaper, so that was fun. And I really wanted this house to be very different from what I normally do, which is, I think that the most complicated shape that I have made for a house was a heart. You know, as shapes as, as in shaped like a thing, not just uh, however the house ends up looking like, because I have made a few shell challenges and those are always pretty strange. But yeah, this was just an interesting challenge because of what I chose to do with it. But I think that it worked well. I am using this corner couch, which I think is so pretty and I really love using it. And I am using also this corner piece from Cats and Dogs, which has this clutter and I added a llama on top of it. That's the lump of clay just shaped into a llama, but I also added this wooden llama from um, Dream Home Decorator on top of that desk. And I just thought that it was interesting to see how many llama shaped things I have in my game because I don't even have all the llamas. I know that there's a rock with llamas, but I do not have that. I don't even remember where that's from. And if you do remember it and you would like to tell me, I would like to know because um, I'm curious about that. But here I am just adding some more decorations and remembering about these stone llamas and adding them beneath the, the llamas jaw. And then I remembered that I wanted to add these wool decorations, like those um, cross stitch llamas. And I also added that cross stitching box because I wanted this this house to have a few more skill building items. 
And I also thought that it would be cool if the person here would also be really into cross-stitching llamas. So much later in the build, I remembered that there are a few llama cross-stitch patterns that you can make. So I added those into the build. There is the normal llama that I think has a beanie or something. It's a very cute, a very cute one. And there's also a llama corn one. So I thought that was something that I just needed to add into this space. But here this is going to be the child's room and you can see that I have added that very big llama plush as well as the skateboards, that tapestry that I had mentioned that looks kind of witchy. I also added that neon llama and a smaller llama that we have had in the base game for a very long time. And this is the point in which this bedroom starts looking a bit different from the rest of the house because I decided to add this bed and the rock from high school years that have the llama crest. And I tried adding that other llama rock or floor texture from high school years, but it was... It didn't fit the space and it was a bit too... too modern and I didn't like it. I tried adding it into a few other spaces, but I cut that out because I didn't think that it worked. But now we're going to be adding a few more items. These llama posters from the base game and these pop art llamas I think are so cool. I am also using this interestingly shaped side table that has a tiny llama in one of its shelves. I am also using that llama corn toy. And then I'm just going to be adding stuff that is just quirky and not necessarily llama themed. But then I remembered that tiny llama thingy. Um, I think it's supposed to be a bobblehead. Um, and I also wanted to add some books because that made sense for me to have in this space because I wasn't adding that many skill building items. And I am also adding this, I think it's a chest trophy. It's a knight and it might be a horse, but it also kind of looks like a llama, so I decided to keep it. And even if there is no chest table in here, but I did add a Don't Wake the Llama games table outside, so maybe this sim is also into board games. And um, But yeah, I think now I'm just going to be adding a few finishing touches to the space. I also added a few to the bathroom, and then we're going to be working on this main bedroom, which is just larger by one tile compared to the other one, and I was going to originally have this on the floor below this, but I really wanted that extra tile because of the double bed, and maybe there is just one sim that uses this room because of how small it is. But I think that it still managed... I still managed to fit a few items in here. There's these closets that I sized down so that it looked like there was a decent amount of storage, as well as that, as well as a space to hang more stuff. So you can see that this sim probably has enough space for their clothes and a few more things. I did come back to this space to add a few more items because I found even more llama things later. There's this, um, I don't, it's not really a tapestry, but it's something that you would hang on the wall and it has llamas. So. You will see that later, but first we are going to be working on this space for llama. I just added a fence around it and this gate from cats and dogs. I really wanted to add a gate that was wider than the one tile gates because llamas are pretty large animals. And I also decided to raise up this banner thingy on some debug things from Cottage Living because it was conflicting with that, um, with the gate. But now we're just going to be adding some debug, um, debug fencing around this garden area just to define it a bit more. I have added that games table and I also found this bridge thing in the cottage living debug as well. And this isn't functional, but I thought that it looked nice. And I think that's still within the rules of the challenge because it said not to disturb the terrain. And I don't think this counts as disturbing really because it didn't modify the shape of anything. But now I am just adding these cross stitch llamas and a few more finishing touches to this space. I decided to have a bookcase in this area just so that this room would have a few more things to really pull it together because I just wasn't loving this side of it. And then I am going to be modifying the llama's face a bit because I wasn't super happy with how it was looking. Um, and adding the thing that I had mentioned, but first we're just going to be adding a few 
items into this space to really pull it together. I added a lamp into that weird gap and also a telephone and that weird glass llama and a few more things. And then I remembered that um, Jungle Adventure actually has a few llama things. So I added that rock instead of the one that I had originally. And I also added that thing that I had mentioned in the face of the llama so that it looked like a nose and into the orange bedroom because that was that had no llamas and that was unacceptable. Um, I also added some llama tiles from Jungle Adventure into the bathroom and then I am just remembering to add a mailbox and a trash can into this space and that's pretty useful actually because when you clean the shed it's best to, to have a trash can nearby so that your sim doesn't have to carry around the trash for a long distance because sometimes they just drop it on the floor before reaching the trash can. Um, but then I'm just going to be adding some terrain paint and finishing touches. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this and that you try this challenge for yourself if you want to. You can find it on the official Sims Discord and you can submit your interest there if you want to. I will also have that link down below in the description as well as the gallery link for my actual build which you can download if you want to play in this weird llama house. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.